Skier Gus Kenworthy deserves a round of applause from all of us. During the 2018 Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang, South Korea, he managed to convince a dog farmer to close his business, and he ended up rescuing 90 dogs. He used his influence as a sports personality to spread awareness of the plight of dogs in South Korea. Luckily Kenworthy was able to partner with the Humane Society International in convincing the farmer to stop his farming, as a sports personality to spread awareness of the plight of dogs in South Korea. Kenworthy managed to transport 90 dogs to the USA and Canada. The dogs were treated for various ailments and placed in a shelter. They will soon find permanent homes. Kenworthy, however, decided to take one of the dogs named Bimo. It's not surprising to see him adopting one of the dogs owing to his long association with animal welfare advocates. During the Sochi Games, Kenworthy came across five strays in the city and was able to rescue them. Dog meat is very popular among people in both North and South Korea and other parts of the world. The practice remains hugely controversial due to issues related to sanitation and animal cruelty. The first animal protection law was introduced in South Korea in 1991. The law only outlawed the killing of animals brutally but never did away with dog slaughtering. Dogs are not in the same category as pork or chicken under the 1992 Livestock Processing Act. This means no regulations are governing the slaughter of dogs for meat leading to the animals being killed in cruel ways. Some are electrocuted, others are strangled while others are reportedly beaten to death. Consumers of gaygogi or dog meat say the government should regulate the dog meat in the same way they have done to other meats. They are of the view that if no inhumane and unhygienic practices are involved then they should be allowed to have the meat. However, quite a lot of people want the practice outlawed. Young generations in South Korea are seemingly moving away from the practice. A survey conducted by the Korean Ministry of Agriculture in 2007 shows that nearly 60% of Koreans aged below 30 would not consume dog meat. Gus Kenworthy in a picture posted on Instagram on 23 February said he did not intend to westernize the people of South Korea. The cruel treatment meted on animals is unacceptable, and people should stop using culture as an excuse. Gus Kenworthy has done a great job, and we all thank him. The Olympians' love for sport and animals is incredible. Many people in the world need to emulate him. Let us know your take on Kenworthy's actions during the Pyong Olympics. Blog page, BarkPooch.com Facebook fan page, Twitter and Instagram, I love my dogs. We hope you liked the video. Please hit the subscribe button to get more updates.